<laughs> a grand salad. Oh, that is very fine. That's proper. That's proper. proper. A manchet loaf. Excellent. A pottage of cherries. Some cracknels. They look as though they're biscuits from Shrewsbury. They are similar, not quite the same. Though. Some orange suckets. A beet salad and some cheese and butter. I hope the beet is well cooked, sir. It is. I trust it is not. Cheese tarts. There's local cheeses. Fish. <laughs> and orange and lemon chicken. <laughs> My lord. Now, oh, Chaplain, would you give us a dress? <laughs> Nominate Father Chris at Philia Spiritual Sanctus. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Holy Mary, and uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Benedictus benedicat per Jesum Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Amen. If you'd like to come a bit closer, they don't mind, and we can explain what they're eating a bit more and show you what it is. And they will also tell you how they eat. So you'll notice there are one or two things that are a bit different from modern, modern cookery. So, I mean, when you wouldn't mind the food. From a distance. Now, I announced what the dish has been called, but some of the names will probably be a bit strange for you. Pottage is actually cooked in a pot. The cherry pottage, fried bread, cherries, red wine, sugar, cinnamon, ginger. Absolutely gorgeous. The orange and lemon chicken has got also got dates and prunes in, I think. It's got wine as well, and probably some spice. The beetroot salad at the far end. A salad just means a vegetable dish. It doesn't mean a raw vegetable dish at this time. Beetroot has been cooked. So that's the chicken there. The orange is around the outside. It's orange. Um, the beetroot has been cooked, got sort of sweet and sour. There's vinegar, sugar, again some more cinnamon and currants in, in with it. The cheese tarts are basically cheese tarts, very similar to what we'd have now, although it's a, a period recipe. The bread is the finest white bread we can make, manchet. Um, very expensive because it has to be hand sifted to get rid of all the bran. And the grand salad in the middle. Uh, it's basically a table decoration. It's all edible, but they won't eat it. They just. Uh, my master is showing his showing off his wealth. By the, the, out. It, it would be completely inedible because these oranges and lemons have not been cooked. Nevertheless, to show that I can import them from the Mediterranean shows my wealth. And he also can employ people like me to spend the whole morning slicing them up, blanching the almonds, stoning the dates, and all those things that have to be done. So it's not just the, the import, it's also the fact that he's got a retinue staff big enough to be able to do this. Some very fine colour. Now, the custom at the time was to serve oneself from the central dishes with one's left hand and put it upon the plate, and then you eat with your right hand. And if the cook has done his job properly, all the pieces will be of a size that they can easily be eaten in a mouthful. If not, I will use my knife to cut on my board and then place it on my plate so that I can eat it. 
that keeps my clean hand away from what I'm putting in my mouth. When this hand is dirty, I wipe it on my napkin. Have a toast, the king. Ah, are we all set? The king. The king. The king. sour things, all together, all at the same time. That was the way they did it. And what has happened is we've had one remove of dishes prepared and ser served to us. If we were having a large feast, that whole suite of dishes would be removed and replaced by another set. And sometimes even a third set for a great feast. And then we might, from that, get up, walk about, and go to another place where a banquet was set upon a table. And a banquet was a thing which you ate like a buffet, standing up and talking to your the people you were dining with. Yeah. Uh, when you come into the classroom, you see it. 